Do you like the thrills and fun of water slides that people go to every summer and splits and splash all over the place? Well, you can have fun designing your own water slide. Today on my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where everything is all about science, we're going to talk about water slides and how to design a water slide that you can have fun with just playing around using marbles. Well, actually, how do water slides work? Well, you see the design that I created and it worked. Look at the top, I have height, I have a hill and it's going down. I even have a curve over here and then another low hill. Well, did you know that when people climb up to the top of the water slide that they are storing energy and we call this energy potential energy. Energy that is stored and they stored it in their bodies. So once they get up to this slide and they get ready to slide down, they release that energy, which we call kinetic energy, energy that is released. Well, it's not just energy, it is also gravity. When that kinetic energy is released and they begin to go down, well, the force of gravity is also acting and pulling on that person or pulling on you. Now, of course, when they're going down, another force is also occurring. Well, it's called friction. Friction is when two things rub against each other. But the great thing about a water slide is that water reduces the friction. And so when it reduces the friction, you're able to slide quickly and faster down the water slide. So now what other force occurs when water slides are working? A lot of water slides are designed to have curves. And if you notice, a lot of the curves are covered over. Well, that is because of inertia. We don't want people to fly out when they're on a water slide because of all the curves. Because when you get to the curve, guess what happens? Your body accelerates. It accelerates in that curve and you go faster. Well, your body tendency has to go forward, but because the curve has walls up, those walls keep you in there and you're able to make it to the finish line. So that's how the science behind water slides work. So what is your challenge today? Your challenge is going to be to design a water slide that has Heels that has maybe a curve or two, maybe more than one heel, maybe uh, a loop if you want in there. I've never seen one with a loop, but hey, I don't go to many water slides, so I don't know. But you're going to be the designer. So we're going to use the engineer and design process. Remember, I told you about the engineer and design process when we did the marble maze? I hope you remember. If you did not watch that video, I'm going to leave a link up here so you can click that one and make the marble maze also. Engineer and design is a fun process that you can use to build things. You know, engineers who build bridges, engineers like biomedical engineers design medication. So, so many things engineers can do. Well, we're engineering roller coasters because amusement parks are fun. So we're not doing roller coasters today, but engineers do design roller coasters. We're designing a water slide instead. So in order for you to begin, you must think about the question, how can I build a water slide that's safe for people to use? Because you want it to be safe and sturdy and you want it to have support. So think about that. Now that you've come up with your question, it is time to plan. Plan out what you're going to do by brainstorming. You can talk this over with a 
groups in your classroom or you can talk it over if you're at home with a parent or a sibling but talk about the plans what kind of water slide would you like you can do some research and look at different water slides like the one at Disney called the um, I think it's called the summit plummet and that one is meant for height it is hundred and twenty feet high and people take a deep plunge and it is meant for people to go fast on the water slide and so you can look at different ones and see the different designs that are out there and Think about what design you want to include in your water slide. Now that you've brainstormed and you've come up with a plan, now you want to take your paper and pencil and draw out your design. So once you draw out your design, be sure it's the design you really want. Because once you draw that design, then you can list your materials. What are you going to need? Will you need some uh, loops? Will you need some heels? What kind of support will you need? Will you need some support beams? How many support beams will you need? How many heels or curves will you need? All those things you want to put down when you're drawing out your design so that when it's time to build, you will have everything written down. So that is our next step. It is time to build. For this design engineer challenge, you're going to need some tape, you're going to need cardboard for the base of your water slide, a ruler, scissors, marbles, and you're going to need paper. I used a template from Science Buddies and I'm going to leave a link for you for this template because it's going to make the process easier for you to complete. Once you print your template out, I printed three different things. I printed one support beam, one heel, and one curve. You're going to cut on the straight line and fold on the dotted line. Once you make your beam supports, you can cut those down to the height that you need. You don't need to leave them the same height. The other thing is, when you're folding, just continue to fold on the dotted line going forward. And make sure you crease it really well. That does make a difference. Once you have all the parts folded, you're just going to take it and put it together. Now, remember the black lines? You're going to fold these back to make the base for your beam holder, your support holder. Now just take a small piece of tape, a couple of pieces. One of the things I will tell you is to, um, when you're building your um, water slide, you know, to cut just some small pieces of tape and just hang them at the end of the table. So we're just going to put a small piece here and one small piece here. Now, this is the base of the water slide, your cardboard. You're going to decide where you're going to put your support and tape that part on to the base. So this is the base and now we have a support beam. The next thing we're going to cut is called loop or heel. You could turn this into a loop or you can make it into a heel. I'm going to use it for a heel. Remember, 
you're going to fold on the dotted line and cut on the black solid line. And remember to crease it So when you finish creasing and you open, you have this. But now you want to cut on these black lines. Now we have our support beam and we have our heel. And so remember when you make a roller coaster. A roller coaster, the first hill has to be the highest point. Well, it's going to be the same way when we make our water slide. So we're going to take a piece of tape and tape at the top here because I want mine to be pretty high or tall. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to shape, shape your heel the way you want it to slope down. You don't want to leave these out because, spread out because the marble will fall out. So you have to take your tape, little small pieces, and tape along the sides as you shape it. So this is why it's great to work in pairs or work as a team. And so when you finish taping it, then you decide, look at your plan, what are you putting on next? So the next piece I'm going to show you is the curve. You can use this curve the way I did for my water slide, or you can use it a different way. With the curve, it is the same principle. You're going to fold on the dotted line, cut on the black line. So once you have this part done, then you can make your curve. When you make your curve, however you need the shape to be, remember you have to tape the sides. And so then you would decide where you're going to put this according to your plans and you're going to take those pieces together and continue to build. Whatever you need from your design, you cut out those parts. And here's a great tip. Cut out all your parts before you start building. That way, you don't have to keep stopping to cut again. And then, cut extras in case you mess up on one. Now that you have built your water slide, it is time to test it out. Alright, mine went in, but there's always a need for improvement. That is the last step in the engineer and design process. Improve, make any changes that are needed before you do the very final one to present. I can definitely make some improvements on the sides. Um, there's some uh, parts here on the curve where I need to raise it up a little bit more, but I definitely can do some improvements and make some changes to it. All right, friends, I will see you in my next video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.